Lost Perspective, Balt and the Specials. This is to examine the powers of those who are gifted in Lost. My assumption is there are multiple sources or wells of light around the world, the islands being the most critical. My arguments are some people are born special and have various natural abilities. Time spent near different sources of light can both give powers and enhance the natural abilities of people. My evidence is Isaac of Aluru's conversation with Rose in SOS 219, Walt and Jacob's appearances in Abandoned 26, The Substitute 64, What They Died For 616, among many others. Some people are naturally gifted whether they are born on the island or not. It is proven by the end that both Hurley and Man in Black could see and talk to ghosts without direct exposure to any light source. Hurley's first potential ghost visitor would be Dave in the psychiatry ward. He could have been Libby's husband Dave, a former patient, or possibly one of the victims from the patio crash that Hurley didn't know. Man in Black was also visited by his dead mother once the board game was found, just before his suffering really began. Miles was also born on the island and then shortly after removed from it. Either he was born special or being born on the island gave him a gift. This led to him having a slight sensitivity to others' thoughts after death. His short-term exposure affected him only slightly. If he had lived his entire life on island, could he have been able to read the minds of the living by the time he was old? Walt is born special off the island, just like Hurley. Because of his career-driven mother, he ends up traveling to major locations around the world, including Australia. We know from Isaac of Aluru that there are certain places around the world with different types of light sources that can be used to heal. Walt's stepfather understands the uniqueness of Walt before he ever gets to the island. I think that Walt has been growing in power as he travels and spends time near these somewhat unknown locations. Once he gets to the island, he starts demonstrating abilities of projection, telekinesis, summoning, and future sight. Jacob is also seen to project himself, while being a child in puberty in Season 6. His powers become almost immeasurable once he becomes Protector. Desmond turned the failsafe key in Season 2 and suffered the direct effects of the implosion. He could now see glimpses of the future and change things, apparently for the short term. This fact is both dangerous and necessary to Jacob's loophole plan, and so Eloise is sent to educate and warn him. Charlie's delayed death and the Losties getting off the island are the consequences. In What They Died For, Widmore reveals that Desmond is special because of his electromagnetic resistance also gained from the hatch's detonation. Man in Black mistakenly intends to use Desmond to destroy the island, I think that Jacob got Desmond these abilities for this very reason. It's a long con on the man in black. His own selfish plan leads to his demise at the hands of Jack and Kate. My conclusions are, Walt, by traveling the world while already special, absorbed power from different sources of light and unknowingly became very powerful. Desmond was intentionally tempered by the swan to both bend time to his will and unplug the island. Mm -hmm.